Everton Park that not many would have predicted based on current form. Everton 1, West Ham United 2. 11 minutes on the clock and Andre Yarmolenko getting his first goal in English football. Yeah, he did. And Everton, the thing that first half was keep giving the ball away in bad areas. And West Ham United very quick to punish them. It looks like here that Archer is going to go through and score, but he doesn't. He lays it for Yarmolenko and makes uh, the easy finish. But just in terms of making Everton Bay with quality, this is this, for the four moments of quality here for Western United. There's a foot around the corner, and lots of it's just chest sit back. And the third part of quality is this for, again from Obiang to put it in the right spot for the striker to go through. And the final piece of quality decision making is that from Anatovic just to make sure he brings it across to Yarmolenko, scores from five yards out. Thomas, he hasn't been associated too much with West Ham this season, but uh, a good finish again here. Yeah, I mean, and, and a mistake from Everton again from Jordan Pickford. Uh, tries a difficult ball out, but just have a look at this. I mean, it's talk about make them pay with quality. A different look there at it. It was never really on that ball from the goalkeeper, but Yarmolenko, skillful, great left foot. It's just a little pause he makes there. He just allows that little window in that front to put in with that brilliant left foot 2-0. After Masuaka got a yellow card for this challenge on Walcott, should it have been red? You know, for me, but that is just the right side of the line. He does verge on, on, on to a foul play when endangering the safety of an opponent. As he turns back to make the challenge, his foot goes up. I don't think there's that much contact there. I think with more contact, we might be talking about that. Everton will probably look at that. They've had the Charleston sent off, they've had Jaddy Alka sent off this season. But I think yellow was about the right call. And this was a big moment for Everton in this game. With injury time in, in the first half, desperate to get something, and it's guilty from Sigerson. I think benefits from the two strikers now that Everton have. They've occupied the two centre backs. Sigerson coming from a slightly deeper position gets a three header and gives Everton a lifeline at the break. Probably not so you'd have been in that situation where maybe losing 2 0, then you get one back just before the break. How yeah. different will Marco Silva's half time team talk be now? You know what? It, it shouldn't be any different because I made a note to say at this half time point here. They've got to keep going because West Ham are not secure. They're not strong. They're not, they haven't dominated that game. They've looked really, really good in certain moments with a little bit of quality they've got. But they, I mean, 10 goals conceded in the first four games. I would have thought the manager would have said, keep going. There's something in it for us. Of course, scoring right there, they're going to be fired up, ready to go in the second half. And they need to be better because they weren't very good in the first half an hour. Absolute test now for, for West Ham and Becker. Get 2 0 up and confident. If you go in at 2 0, it gives you such belief that you can hang on to something. Now's a test. Away at Goodison, where they don't do particularly well. They're on the road, you know, they haven't got as many home fans supporting you. We'll find out a little bit about the spirit and character of this group. Yes, they can play football. We've seen a couple of really good goals, but now they're going to have to do some of the dirty side. Trap runners, make sure you make your tackles, win possession in the middle of the park. Because if they do that well, they've got quality in the team. What's the outcome then? Poor. Difficult. Yeah, I, I don't think West Ham will win. I think Everton, I mean, they played really badly. So many loose passes. They, they've got the 4 4 2 now, which I think will help them. It's just whether West Ham might punish them on a counter attack. West Ham might just find a way. After the